Turkey is a favoured holiday destination for European jet setters and Brits like me. Turkey is where East meets West and as a result it's had a long and colourful human history stretching back tens of thousands of years. And its southern coasts offer an irresistible combination of sun, sea and the Mediterranean lifestyle. But what many holidaymakers don't realise is what a fantastic place Turkey is for wildlife and biodiversity. It's precisely Turkey's position on the boundary of Europe and Asia and its eclectic geography that have made Turkey one of the most biodiverse regions in this part of the world. Its varied landscape is a direct result of a wide range of tectonic processes, which have shaped Turkey over millions of years. The vast majority of Turkey sits on the Anatolian plate, which is wedged between the converging African and Eurasian plates. Over millions of years, this has formed the extraordinary array of landscapes that we see across modern Turkey, from the barren central Anatolian plateau to the narrow coastal strips. And it's this geographical diversity that has led to organisms adapting and filling the myriad of ecological niches available to them, resulting in this spectacular biodiversity. So let's talk figures. To date, we know there's around 80,000 animal species found in Turkey. Compare this to the total number of animal species found in Europe as a whole, it's astonishing how biodiverse Turkey's fauna actually is. There's also around 10,000 species of native vascular plant. Even more astonishing is around a third of these are endemic to Turkey. Now, although Turkey's had a long history of human occupation, the country is still largely untouched by human hands. This is a result of the country's dramatic and often inaccessible landscape. To illustrate the point further, I'm staying in one of the more densely populated parts of the country, an area that you wouldn't particularly associate with spectacular biodiversity. But behind me is the mountain Babadag, which is home to an endemic species of tree, Asa undulatum which is only found on the slopes of this peak. But all this diversity has got me thinking. For such a biodiverse country, what conservation measures exist, if any? Turkey is a rapidly developing country. Its population has increased from 18 million at the end of World War II to as many as 75 million by last year's count. And as a result, policies have focused on economic development rather than conservation schemes. Turkey now ranks 133 out of 178 countries in the 2014 World Environmental Performance Index of Biodiversity and Habitat Measures. And now only 1% of Turkey is protected under environmental law. But it's not all doom and gloom. The few Turkish conservation organisations like Kurzi Doya have made positive steps including the creation of the country's first wildlife corridor and the establishment of Eastern Turkey's first birding station. But is this enough? So I'll leave you with this. If you find yourself jetting off to the south coast of Turkey or to see its historical sites, just stop and look at the wildlife around you and see what a biodiverse country Turkey really is. Hi, I'm David. And I'm Phil. And we're conservation biologists and the presenters of a new show called EcoSapien, which explores the importance of the natural world and biodiversity. If you like this episode, or any other, why not hit the subscribe button? We need all the help and support we can get to continue producing the huge array of videos we hope to make. Thanks for watching. <laughs>